we've been working with John Fernandez a great deal over the last couple of years. And what we've been trying to advance is a different way of thinking about how the federal government interacts with communities to support economic development. And consistent with what I talked about earlier at breakfast this morning, you know, our basic take on the world, and I think the President and administration shares this, is that you know, the rest of the world is raising their game. In America, if we're going to compete and, and, have a, and have the kind of standard of living that we want for our kids and our families, we're going to have to do more or we're going to fall behind. It's not staying where we are and doing what we were doing is simply not an option in a much more competitive world of the 21st century. And I think one of those pieces of doing more and doing better is about what John, what well, Sec Assistant Secretary Fernandez is going to talk John's about today. John, uh, we've known each other a long time. Um, he's going to talk about today, which is a different theory of how the feds can engage with communities to support their unique uh, economic, uh, a unique economic ecosystem in, in regions and communities where we can be more supportive, where it's not cookie cutter, one size fits all, where it isn't siloed into parts of flows of money that don't speak to one another and aren't related to the economy of a particular place. And the way to think about it in simple English is that it's the difference between having a federal strategy towards economic development and a national one. And certainly those of you who work in economic development who are here today, one of the things we're trying to work on with John and the White House is this idea of holding all of you up. It's part of this whole Champions of Change theory. There are people getting up every day trying to figure out how to create five more new jobs, ten more new jobs in every community in the country. Right? How do we do a better job here supporting you and your work? That's part of what we're going to talk about now. Welcome, John. Great. Thanks, Simon. Thank you. Yeah, I, I appreciate the introduction, and it's it's a nice setup because um, as Simon mentioned, I mean, we've known each other a long time, and he kind of knows what I'm trying to do here. And before he leaves, I want to make sure I say that you know one of the th things I learned pretty quickly coming to Washington from working at the local level is you really got to have an inside-outside strategy. And there's a lot you can do within the government. There's a lot you can do in Washington to try and drive change in your organization, policies, etc. But having good external partners that can amplify your message, give you good insight and, and critiques and, and ideas is critically important. And Simon and his team have been just a phenomenal partner of ours, and I really appreciate it because it's making a difference. Thank so you. thanks, Simon. Thank you. Um, like, you know, I, I look forward to, would it be possible to just do a super quick kind of around the table where people are from so I get a sense of who folks are and what you're doing, and then I'll make a few comments and then really want to just open it up and, and have an exchange with all of you. Is that, I see some heads nodding. Why don't we start here? Okay, I'm Julia Roach and I'm from High Tech High School this Okay, great. Uh, uh, Mark McCausland, uh, Ultramarine Systems out of Albuquerque. We do software development. Uh, and uh, about 80% of our sales are uh, export uh, from outside the United States. Susan McCausland, Ultramarine Systems, Albuquerque. Angel Sullivan, uh, senior at High Tech International. I'm Nathan Baker, senior at High Tech North County. Um, I'm Taylor Cook, and I'm a senior at High Tech High Media Arts. I'm Alex Avalos, I'm a senior at High Tech High Media Arts. I'm Rashika Darianani, and I'm a graduate of High Tech High International. I'm Paloma Fernandez, and <laughs> I'm a senior at High Tech High. Carl Colonius, and I did not attend High Tech High, although I did. I'm the director of Rocky Mountain Youth Group. Hi, I'm Epiphany, and I'm a senior at High Tech High in North County. Jose Gonzalez, uh, president of the Laredo Brokers Association in Laredo, Texas. Miguel Concha, the Laredo Chamber of Commerce. <coughs> Alex Hilton with NDN. Josh Botterman, senior at High Tech High Chula Vista. I'm Cliff Barra, I'm the CEO of Kidzui. We make an internet browser for children. Brett Peterson, Principal, High Tech High. Melissa Agadello, Dean of Students, High Tech High International. Dimitri Goulas, I'm a senior at High Tech High. My name is Akos Kovac. I am the uh, Economic Development Planner for SIGO, a Council of Government in uh, Southeastern Arizona. My name is Sarah Nadarian. I run the MyLab program at Cali T2 UCSD. And I was a mentor for one of the students at High Tech High. Oh, yeah, no, no, sorry. I, I was paying attention to the guy just a minute. I'm Haley. I'm, uh, I'm with the Department of Commerce in Washington. And I'm Melinda. I'm with uh, Haley. <laughs> I'm John Munoz, and uh, I was a senior high tech guy last year. 
I'm Tom and Jos. Uh, I am the director at Cytel. Uh, we have uh, several hundred employees in Las Cruces, and i um, happy to say we hired about 146 between March and now, and promoted about 19 of them. I'm also promoted about the uh, Chamber of Commerce in Las Cruces. Great. Right. about back here? Two more folks. Um, I'm Seth Beer, and uh, I'm with Indiana. And I'm also from Indiana. Where in Indiana? Burn, Indiana. <coughs> I'm Russell. Do you have an IU degree, I hope? No, Ball State. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Anakin Slam, and I work with Indiana, and I'm out of Chicago. Justin Lindsay, I'm with CBP. That's nice one. Well, great. That, that helps me get some kind of flavor. And I, I hope for, especially for the uh, uh, students here from high tech, because we're having a good, a really good visit to Washington, and doing more than just these meetings, which are incredibly important, and that's the reason you're not in school, and I get all that, but uh, <laughs> it is the nation's capital, and it's a fabulous place to, uh, to come and, and really see history. So anyway, let me just pick up on a couple of things that uh, Simon started with, and then maybe get into just sort of whatever it is you all would like to ask me, or more, more importantly, make sure that I hear from you. Uh, the Economic Development Agency is part of the Department of Commerce, and um, while most of the discussion in Washington when it comes to economic development, job creation, etc., tends to be very focused on macroeconomics, you know, trade policy, tax structure, all those things, we're, we're the people on the ground doing more of the microeconomics. And that's important because I think if you look at the national economy, and all of you from, you know, particularly the uh, southwestern border, you get this, is that you've got a national economy, but it's not a monolithic single economy. And that, in fact, it's really just an aggregation of a lot of regional economies that have unique DNA. They have different kinds of strengths, different kinds of strategies and relationships to uh, the global economy. So where the EDA, where we like to play, is at that regional and local level where we can help communities kind of think through and and build on uh, the assets they have to, to be very competitive in today's world. Competitiveness is really, you know, maybe overused, but I don't think we can overemphasize the urgency of U.S. global competitiveness. Uh, the uh, World Economic Forum just released, maybe even it was yesterday or a day or so ago, their annual big index of competitiveness across the world, and, and uh, for the third straight year, the U.S. dropped. And people should be really concerned about that, because they look at all these different factors in terms of the innovation engine and how we're investing in R&D, competitive structure in terms of taxes, regulation, uh, job creation, how are we scaling, commercializing research, all those things across the spectrum, and we've actually slipped again. And uh, 